When it comes to creating your email messages, there are three different types of message formats. To view those after you created your email before you send it off, come up here, click on the Options tab, and in the Formatting group, you'll see the three. Mine's defaulted to HTML. HTML, if you just hover over it, it'll give you an explanation, is a hypertext markup language message that allows you to send emails with formatted text, pictures, and backgrounds, and put in hyperlinks as well. It's just like going to any web page. That's the type of formatting you're able to do. The next step down would be rich text, and again, hovering over it, you can read it. it basically allows you to format text or your email to look nicer with bold um, underlines, different colors for your text. And it tells you right there that it's not compatible with all email clients. So if the person you're sending this message to doesn't have Microsoft Outlook, they may or may not be able to read your message. And then the least of which is just plain text, which strips all the formatting out of your email message and anybody can read plain text. Or any email client or anybody who you send this off to who doesn't have Microsoft Outlook should be able to read it. For example, if I come down here and I make some changes, like I select that and I apply some formatting by hovering over my shortcut toolbar and click on B for bold and a little color there, and maybe select this text here and control U to underline it and apply some more formatting, insert some pictures. Some of the people who don't have Microsoft Outlook won't be able to read this and they'll get a bunch of uh, characters in here that they won't understand in place of what was formatted. Not only that, but sometimes if you format your emails too much and depending upon what you put in your email, Microsoft Outlook or other people's um, mail programs may see it as spam. So if you can keep it as plain text without any formatting, they don't think it's something that you're trying to sell or something that may be harmful to somebody else's computer. Just like going to a web page, you click on the wrong link and oops, you probably just installed a virus. So if you know somebody doesn't have Microsoft Outlook and they send you an email saying, I haven't heard from you or I get your emails but I don't understand them because they're all messed up, then what you can do is you can change your emails by coming up here to plain text. It'll say, look, I'll remove all formatting. Are you okay with this? Click continue. Formatting's removed. It's now all in plain text. And of course, once it's in plain text, if you go to the message tab, the home tab, all your formatting features are disabled because, again, you can't apply any formatting to a plain text email. But you can always go back to the Options tab and say, I want it back to either rich text or HTML. Then come back to the Message tab and, of course, select any one of the formatting buttons to apply the formatting to any text you have selected down below. In any case, 9 times out of 10 when it comes to my message formats, HTML works for me and that's my default. If it doesn't work for you and most of your clients don't have Outlook or can't accept or understand your HTML or your rich text formatting, again the dummy down version of the HTML, more dumber down than that would be plain text where it has no formatting, then go ahead and change the defaults so every time you create a new email message it'll always be either rich text or plain text or again HTML. To set up those defaults, I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and not save it. You want to come up and click on the Tools menu, go down to Options, Click on the Mail Format tab, and there it is right there. Every time you create a new message, what do you want to compose it in? HTML, rich text, or plain text? Select plain text, click OK, click on the new email message button, and notice all of my formatting options have been disabled because this is plain text. Or more to the point, click on the Options tab, and there it is, selected as plain text. You can still change it, go to HTML. It just means that it'll be defaulted plain text every time you create a new message. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.